So, a great start to the day there with Stu for those first few races, and on the first one of the days, the Hemsworth Town Maiden. And it's a three mile, one furlong chase. And we'll take a look at the field, and Stu Gray's got the top one, Charlie Two Shoes, Q Card David Hooley, Deepdale Darren Thompson, Flintoff Winning, James Shea, Hello Bud Obi Wan, Jammer Cottage, Thomas Rogers, Lords Crystal, David Robertson, Nashville Ridley for Vinnie Gerard, Run for Free, John Morgan, Secret Venue. Paul O'Neill, Ali Oscar Hole, Alex Cherry, Elusive Enchantment, Jim Murray, Japanese Blonde, Leon Van Rensburg, Rock On, Susie Q, Graham Clutterbuck, Webby Clarity, Martin Leadham, What No Son, Craig Beckwith is a bottom one then, so 16 of them facing the starter in this three mile one for a long chase, and away they go. 18 fences to take, and a fairly decent run to the first one of them. And on the inside, Flintoff winning just about the early leader from run for free and those John Morgan power blue silks Molly likes a front runner or two John Morgan so I wouldn't be surprised to see that one eventually end up in the lead Wee Wee Clarity is also up there as well so some rock on Susie Q and the purple jacketed Q card is going to join it's almost five in a line as they make their way towards this first fence then and run for free is just about got his head in front on, on the inside Rock on Susie Q, they're all safely over the first. We run for free. Now about a head up from Flintoff Wedding in the green jacket on the inside in second. Q card is back in third. Then comes Rock on Susie Q and Wee Clarity as they take the first ditch. Oh, what is that fall right at the back? There's two fallers crashing falls there for Japanese blonde for Leon Van Rensburg and Nashville Ridley's gone as well. So two out at the first ditch. The second fence didn't look a particularly big ditch, but they both crashed through it. And Pretty horrific looking falls, although horses appear to be up and chasing at the rest of the pack. So it's Flintoff winning, who's probably five lengths clear now on all that was going on. Run for free, settled down in second. And rock on Susie Q and Weeby Clarity. Then comes Deepdale and Charlie Two Shoes. Elusive Enchantment is after that one as they get to the next. All safely over that with the two loose horses at the back of the field running along unharmed. And Flintoff winning. Clear leader. A good four lengths or so, maybe a little bit more. Stood off that one, but got over it nicely. They all jumped it well. One or two of them giving it a bit of air and a little ponderous at it, but it's flint off wedding. He was clearing the lead from rock, a run for free in second. Then rock on Susie Q, Weeby Clarity, and then Deep Dale as they take number six. Over that one, Deep Dale didn't take it very well and hit it quite hard. Just dropped back down the pack a little bit. The pace is probably quite hot for this distance. Maybe one of them making a few mistakes. But it's Flint off winning and takes the next with a clear lead. And this time it was run for free that made the mistake. Really took a dive at that one as they come up past the winning post then with a complete circuit of the track to go. And as they pass the winning post, it's Flint off winning, who's the clear leader. From Weeby Clarity, who's gone into second, then comes Rock on Susie Q in third. Run for free is four, and Deep Dale is five. Then comes Hello Bud and Charlie Two Shoes, and Elusive Enchantment, and Jammer Cottage, and What No Son of the Secret Venue, and Ali Oscar Hole, and Lord's Kestrel. And looks like Q Card has gone as well. Must have missed that one. So, apologies for that, but Q Card is now out of the race as well. And Flint off winning. It's four lengths clear. And what is another faller? It's run for free that's gone this time, so fallers are plenty in this one. And the John Morgan horse is out now as well, so some of the big guns have um, misfired in this race. And it's flint off winning who's clearing the lead from Weeby Clarity in second. Then Rock on Susie Q is third. Deep Bell is fourth as they take that ditch. And they're all safe there at this time round. With flint off winning an undisputed leader. Led pretty much all the way. And that will run to the first fence, really. We be Clarity settled down nicely in second. Charlie Two Shoes running a good race in third as well. Then comes Deep Dale and Elusive Enchantment. Rock on Susie Q still in that leading group as well. Bit of a slow jump by Ali Oscar Hole, who's the back marker, but no more than 15 lengths off the leader. And that leader is Flint off winning, who's now been joined by We Be Clarity in second. Charlie Two Shoes tucked in behind in third. Then comes Deep Dale recovering from that mistake. Elusive Enchantment for Jim Murray switching around the outside. Then comes Lord's Kester on What No Sun creeping into it as well with Deep Dale Jammer Cottage. Hello, Bud. There's a couple of lengths behind them. Then another gap to Secret Venue. And another couple of lengths back to Ali Oscar Hall, who's the back marker. Into the final mile they go then with 
Flintoff went in there, joined by Charlie Two Shoes. We be Clarity back in third as they take that next one. Better jump by Flintoff. Wedding sees him come away from the fence with a lead of about a neck. But Charlie Two Shoes fighting back in second. We be Clarity is third. What no son is now moving around the outside in the fourth. Lord's Kettle is next. Then Rock on Susie Q as they take the next ditch. And over that one they all go with. Ali Oscar Hole just getting a little bit detached out the back now. But it's Flint off Wedding and Charlie Two Shoes. We be Clarity's lost its place and he's never going to drop out of it. With uh, What No Sun going through into third. The Grey Lord's Kessel was still going well as well as they take the 14th. And over that one, it was still Flint off Wedding in the lead. Flint off Wedding on two lengths again now to Charlie Two Shoes in second. Rock on Susie Q's moving into third. Here comes Lord Kestrel. What No Sun's dropped out of it pretty quickly. Deep Dale's trying to get back into it as well. They're coming down towards the final four fences now. This is the fourth last. Over that one they go, and it's still Flint off Wedding in the lead, but the Grey Lord's Kestrel is now moving into second. Then comes Rock on Susie Q. Charlie Two Shoes Nest starts to beat to retreat in third. After that one is Weeby Clarence in elusive enchantment. Over the third last they go, Flint off Wedding is still the leader. Flint off Wedding from Lord's Kestrel and Rock on Susie Q. Then comes elusive enchantment. They're racing down towards the final two furlongs and the final two fences. And it's Flint off Wedding who's going to take the second last in the lead. He gets over it well, he gets away from it well. And his lead is extended now to five. It's Flint off Wedding, Flint off Wedding in the lead. Lord's Kestrel in second. Back in third is Rock on Susie Q. The other some enchantment, but it's still Flint off Wedding. Lord's Kestrel's getting a bit closer up the final fence. And the lead is gone, he's gone at the last. Goodness me. And Lord's Kestrel has been left in the lead. And Lord's Kestrel races up towards the line and takes this one somewhat fortuitously. Lord's Kestrel with a Rock on Susie Q second. Then I'll in Chapman, Weeby, Clarity, Charlie, Two Shoes, Jammer Cottage, and all the way back to Secret Venue. But what an extraordinary race with fallers of plenty and Flint off Wedding leading virtually all the way and then crashes out at the final fence. Goodness me. So Lord's Kestrel takes it for David Robertson. Rock on Susie Q for Graham Clitterbuck was second. Elusive Enchantment Jim Murray was third. Charlie Two Shoes for Stu Gray fourth. And Weeby Clarity was fifth. But surely Flintoff winning will be a winner without a penalty next week. As he <laughs> absolutely brilliant race from the front and just ran straight through the final fence.